Hi, Queen MLV, Mary. Talk to me Tuesday, Tuesday, February 25th, 2019. Head the day off today. Happy Mardi Gras. Um, I'm just working on three things today, which are simple and coming together fast, and I'm surprised that they took me all day, quite frankly. Anyway, I got, remember my heart quote from last week? Um, it's, um, luck happens and I got the border on that so it's ready to go see Molly and I decided that I want um, I wanted to look I'm talking about the quilting I want it to look free motion but I'm not ready to do free motion and I want it to look like scribbled hearts and so what I'm doing is in Pro Stitcher Designer I'm doodling hearts and I have them just about finished um, they look kind of good I'm worried that they look a little too scribbly and a little less doodly but anyway um, they will repeat and that's where I have a little trouble I need it, it's connecting up but it, there's a hole in it so I need to break the line and, and add like either another doodle or another heart I'm thinking of maybe even a flower in there um, and once I get that done, I'm going to make it big, as big as my machine will let me, which I think is probably 12 inches high. So these hearts will be about, I don't know, it's a doodle that will repeat on a 12 inch high and about maybe 15 inch wide repeat. And so it will look free motioned, I think. Um, and it might look doodled, but it will be, um, Molly's just better at fake free motion than I am at real free motion so um, I am excited about that and I might get that on there tomorrow we'll see what I'm doing tomorrow night um, <clears throat> and then this one I don't know if you guys shop at pineapple fabric um, they've got really really good sales if you get on their mailing list they'll send you um, sales and they're excellent they'll have sales on a whole fabric line so if you want like last week it was batiks and this week it's fat flannels and they all match and they're all from the same designer and they're all just ridiculously cheap so um, anyway they also have the pineapple club which comes in it comes in a box but it comes in a package like this and it comes with these are their packs this is Corolla I think this one is either Diana or Fran they're named after the designers and they and when you buy one of these you get to pick a free pattern the patterns are designed from these particular cuts um, the pineapple club you get one of the packs you don't get to choose the fabric and you get a pattern with it or you can go online and just take their other free patterns um, and it comes with like a gift and a, and a roll of thread and sometimes extra fat quarters or something like that anyway it's a monthly thing that I subscribe to and I love it well this pack is like I said I think it's Fran but it might be Diana um, this pack has been sitting here I'm, I'm challenging myself to clean up some of my stuff this is going to be next this one is 20 5 inch squares, it's 5 fabrics 20 5 inch squares 20 2 and a half inch squares and 20 2 and a half inch strips with the fabric so that was my challenge I got on EQ8 this morning and put this together and I added the white fabric so I added 4 blocks um the four patches, the five four patches were pre-cut and the rest is the strips and it's going to have two more borders and then I have one more set of four strips that I'm going to use for my binding and it's done so basically I added, um, I, I put together four blocks, the rest was all cut, sewed it up, came together great, I'm mitering the corners on the, on the um, on the um, borders I have a picture of that to show you right here it doesn't have all the borders on it yet
and that comes out at a weird size. It's like um, 40, maybe 49 inches square, um, which is kind of too big for a baby, kind of too small for a throw, nice for a wall hanging. So I'm going to see how that goes. But um, if I get another one of these packs, I don't have to wait for it to figure out what to do with it. I'll just pull this pattern up and grab one more fabric and um, maybe a block next time and jump right in and have another one of those. I like it. It, it, it was fun. It was easy. It, it, I mean, absolutely no trimming. These, these things are, well, they're pink, which I don't like, but they're pre-cut and so you don't even have to trim them. They sew together perfectly. So anyway, my next one is the Carla. And um, I don't know why I don't just use the patterns that come with them. But anyway, this one had, this one's a little different mix-up. It's 25 inch squares. Again, five fabrics. 25 inch squares, 22 and a half inch squares, and five what they call bonus quarters. So these are five pieces of fabric, one of each color, 21 by 21. So I was designing one on this and it came out to about the same size as this. I was adding a black to it because this is red, black, gray, and white. Um, I was liking it, but I still wasn't crazy about the size. And then I realized, I thought, man, if I just had something to put in the middle, I've got a hundred panels here, and I'm sure one of them is has enough red, gray, white, and black in it to fit right in here, so I'm going to be strutting over on that. So it's going to be a bigger one that I'm just going to put this around the panel and have it all pre-cut, and I think that's going to be a way to get rid of this one. And I don't mean get rid of, I mean use, because some of them are just lovely fabrics. They're just such a challenge when you when you get them pre-cut like that so anyway those are two things i'm designing um i am i don't know if i talked to you last week about an eq class it's at eq academy but it's called it's not in the academy it's in lessons they're free and it's lessons with yvonne I think they just started a new lesson with somebody else, but it's applique. This one is Lessons with Yvonne, and it's simple, simple, simple. I don't think you need to have EQ8. I think any of the EQs would work on it. Um, but what I love about this one is that um, it's simple, simple, simple. The classes are like every three weeks, so there's plenty of time. You're designing one block a week, and you're making this big quilt. I'm actually making 10-inch blocks instead of eight, so mine's going to be something like 70 by 90 or something like that. So anyway, the first lesson, actually lesson one was setting it up, ordering fabric. Lesson two was designing this and, it, and it's a different, you're learning something in each lesson. So last, lesson two was on designing paper piece. So one of the blocks will be paper piece and you need two, four, six, twelve of them. And this is, so I made two, today I made two of my paper piece blocks that I designed. Yes, they are one, two, three, four, five, six whole lines each one, but um, really fun. And then these go in the corner and then come in toward the toward the middle. And so I'm liking these. I need, I guess, 10 more of these. My goodness, two, four, yeah, 10, 10 more of these. My goodness. Um, but that was fun. I, I did get that done. And then I, I'm taking this same block and putting it in a quilt where I am. Um, it's going to be a smaller one with just two blocks in it. And I'm putting them, four of them together like this in the middle. And then four, so it's only going to have four in the middle, one on each corner, eight of these and um, different fabric. So that's an exciting one. And then lesson three was, I guess, yesterday. And um, so we designed two blocks yesterday. One is pieced. One is pieced with applique. I've got those designed. I have my fabric for it. And I just have to finish these. So I, I'm telling you this because I'm enjoying it. And it's free. And it's, um, it's like I said, it's basic. She takes you through. Click here, click here, click here. Can't mess it up. But the quilt is beautiful, um, and I typically don't use the recommended fabric this time I am, except it's Mardi Gras colors, except it has a 
hot pink in it. So I'm replacing the pink with the neutral cream color, and I think it's going to be very pretty. And it's 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 just a beautiful quilt. So if you go over to electroquilt.com and look at EQ Lessons, Lessons by Yvonne, you'll see, or, or I think it's even on the blog, um, you'll see that one. It, it's fun. It's not too late to catch up. Um, and I think they'll stay up there forever. And so that was really fun. And then the other thing I'm working on, there was something else. Oh, I am starting a Judy Niemeyer. I've been putting this off, not because I couldn't handle the paper piecing, but because I wasn't ready to handle the quilting of it. But Saturday, I was at my local quilt shop, and they had just finished a year-long class on a Judy Niemeyer uh, dinner plate dahlia. I had I had seen it and thought, oh, this is pretty. I had seen some of the people come in with it and thought, oh, that's pretty. But when this girl brought her finished one in to be quilted, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's huge. It's beautiful. And um, I have to have one and I'm ready. And I actually a while ago bought two of her patterns for placemats. Um, one is her Impatience and one is her dogwoods they were on sale during shop hop and i thought oh those are cute and i thought and it's always you know you got to learn to paper piece the judy niemeyer way and then you watch the videos and it's paper piecing like we've been doing all these decades so um i was going to do these kind of as practice but i don't need or want any placemats and i really don't want to make any placemats and so um it comes with the pre -pinted, printed papers and everything um all by fabric and so I what I want to make and what I want to do is a quilt and I've decided I want to do the um, Fire Island Hosta she has a Hosta series and the Fire Island Hosta is very very pretty and um, so I'm starting that I'm working with the friend who's so artistic up in Alaska on fabric she's ready to make one too um, I think she actually has a kit which gives her great advantage anyway um, there's so many fabrics in it and there I, I need it to just be you know it's it's gonna be amazing even if you use scraps but I just want it to be and then um, three of the long arm designers have um, the um, designs for it I have the Wasatch one I have the dinner plate dahlia Wasatch one too um, but I have the Fire Island um, Hosta one from Wasatch because it comes in my monthly kit from from them um, so I'll probably use that and not even look at the other two on the market but because um, they cost about two hundred dollars and I have mine so anyway I'm very, very excited about that. One of, that's one of the reasons I want to knock out some of these easy things, um, get them finished, get these projects off my list, uh, off my, um, out of my boxes of projects I need to start. And um, that's what I'm doing today. So... Hope you all have a great week. I hope you enjoy Mardi Gras. And if you don't celebrate it, you should. Next year, invite yourself to my house. We'll go to a parade. And I'll make you a king cake. So, bye.